News. AT&T is now going to be allowed to buy Time Warner. What does it all mean? Daria Albinger, ABC News correspondent in New York, joins us. Good morning, Daria. Good morning, McGraw. How are you? Good. We were talking earlier that we were old enough to remember when AOL bought Time Warner and how that was mm-hmm. going to change the world, and it turned out to be the biggest debacle going. Why? Yeah. <laughs> what? You know what? A lot of people don't remember that. I And, in fact, you bringing that up made me remember it for the first time in, in, in years. And, and that was, you're right, that was the agreement that was supposed to change the world. And basically what it did was bring about the end of, of AOL. Right. Think and about it. right. So, so now comes another big giant merger that is going to change the world involving Time Warner. So what's going on here? Well, what happened right now is we've, got, we've gotten the okay from the judge for this merger to continue. So look for this thing to be completed, I mean, record quick in a matter of days, if not weeks. After that happens, the Time Warner brand goes away. And everything that was once Time Warner is now AT&T, including a lot of content. Now, back when the Time Warner AOL deal was, was inked, we never talked about content. That right now is the buzzword in the media, and it's basically the future of the media, which is why AT&T wanted to get its hands on this, because Time Warner controls a ton of things that we all watch. So this now means CNN, HBO, all of that's going to be under AT&T. All of that is going to be under AT&T. Uh, the Turner Broadcasting, uh, TNN, TBS, uh, just a ton of things. Basically, if it's not Netflix or it's not Amazon, it probably is going to be under AT&T now. Now, the argument is that to compete with the Netflix and the Amazon, this 100-year-old company, AT&T, <laughs> had to know, compete I with know. these three-week-old <laughs> companies, had to buy a content provider so they can provide the pipe to the phone and to the TV as well as the content. Absolutely. So what you're seeing right now is not only a distributor of the product, but also the product, you know, the places where it is distributed from. So AT&T is going to have a reach, whether you're a subscriber of AT&T cable, wherever you are, or AT&T cell phone service, they're going to have their reach into your content in one way, shape, or form, because they're going to own so many things. You know, really popular shows like Game of Thrones, you know, even if you're, say, you know, a Comcast TV subscriber, you're watching Game of Thrones, AT&T is going to be able to target ads at you. Mm. How, you uh, yeah, no, that's another whole other <laughs> issue, which is we're watching the same thing. You're going to watch ads on your phone, and I'm going to watch ads on my phone, yeah. but, but yet we're watching the same sport, yeah. sporting event. Yeah, yeah ab- absolutely. And, and the other thing, too, I Amy, mean, it goes without saying, when you have fewer players, you're going to pay more for anything. So if you're a customer right now, you might not look for your rates to go up immediately, but down the road, it's pretty much a given. Donald Trump was very much against this. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Justice Department fought this. What did the judge not agree with when they came to the Justice Department? The judge said that, you know, he, he, there were several different things that he said, you know, mainly that it's not going to make AT&T a monopoly because you're seeing a lot of these what they're referring to as vertical mergers, and they're not setting a precedent with this. And, I mean, there's, look, at, look at Amazon and Whole Foods. That's a perfect example of one. Right. You know, it didn't, it didn't make a ton of grocery stores close yet. You know, who knows yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, but look for other companies to do the same thing. I mean, there are a lot of companies on the sidelines that are saying, wait a minute, now it's our turn. Like Aetna and CVS, mm-hmm. right. Express Scripts and Walgreens, um, the parent company of, of, of the place I work, ABC, the Walt Disney Company, is probably now going to get the okay to go into a bidding war with Comcast to buy Fox. You know, look for CBS and Viacom to look for, you know, something like Verizon or, or some other kind of a, you know, of a, of a provider and, and, and try to team up with them. And Verizon is probably going to try to look for a partner of its own. So we're going to see these, you know, these, these little companies, but they're not little, but relatively little compared to AT&T, teaming up with bigger ones or getting swallowed up by bigger ones. So it's kind of going in reverse, yeah. you know, from what we saw during deregulation. Yeah. Interesting, because content, they're saying, is the most important thing. Daria yep. Albinger, you are content. You deserve a Thank raise you. if they're getting $85 billion <laughs> for this stuff. I hope my boss is listening. There you go. Daria Albinger, <laughs> thanks for checking Bye-bye. in. All right, 710.